Hello, internet postmodern friends and haters. I'm coming to you from a quiet corner in my studio, and welcome to my first vlog post in this apocalyptic year of 2012. So, truly, if this is the last year, I've been thinking this a lot lately, if this is the last year that we have left, we might as well make the fucking most of it, right? So, I've decided I want to be more outspoken in 2012. It's something that I'm working on, and this means blurring the line between me and you. And for you English majors out there who need a metaphor, that means that I'm gapping the bridge between you in Ohio and me in New York City so you can get a taste of my life. And I want to be more open with you all, so I've invited my fans and foes to tweet me and write me um, here on my vlog. So my first question came in a form of an email from a Lizzie Grant in Los Angeles. She writes, Riley, how do you feel about transformations? Do you think it's okay to make up a personal mythology to make one seem alluring to an audience? And Lizzie, this is a really great question, and it's funny that you should ask me this because I've always, for a long time, had a very uh, strong feeling about personal mythology, and I find it rather petty, but that's perhaps having to do more with the bias that I have um, with my personal issues how, of having been thrust into the spotlight at such a young age. And as I've become older and less frustrated, um, I've kind of accepted the fact that there is this fascination with my history and my family and my work internationally as a young artist. And I've just kind of come to accept that it's part of my practice. But to be fair, at 15, I will say I did contemplate changing my name um, because I really wanted to leave my family behind and, and really not be known as what I was before, but as you can see, I did not do that, and I've stayed true to myself. Um, but I do suggest you looking at a lecture by Mr. Hennessy Youngman. He gives an excellent, excellent lecture on personal mythology comparing Joseph Boys and Jay-Z. So watch that, Lizzie, and um, make up your mind for yourself. So this next question came from a tweet from uh, Justin in Seattle. He says, Riley, I find your work provocative. And then he wrote in an extended tweet, as your 18th birthday draws near, do you feel you will use your sexuality in your work more? Justin, I'm really glad that you asked me this so I have the opportunity and platform to, to say what I, I need to say about this. Um, unfortunately, legally, I'm not able to express my sexuality as I'm still technically a minor, but I'm definitely not some fragile virgin flower, and I want people to know this. So I can't say anything for now, but just wait. Um, my birthday is May 18th, and there'll be some new work coming at the end of May. All right, and then I have an email to my Gmail from uh, Julia G from someplace, I am not even gonna pretend I can pronounce that, in Wisconsin. Um, she's written me several times and asks, Riley, I'm a huge fan. I've been following your work for a while and find you to be an extreme inspiration in my artistic practice. I'm wondering what publication we'll see you in next. Hope you can answer me as I've written you several times. And you know, this is something I do want to bring up. I wish I could have time for everyone and answer everything that you guys have um, to ask me, but there simply is not enough time. And Julia, I'm sorry, um, I'm answering your question here. It doesn't mean that I don't care. It just means I've been extremely busy. And actually recently, um, I had a photo shoot for a major publication in my own studio in Brooklyn. And it was a really positive experience, one of the first times that I've had that kind of positive experience in front of a camera. Um, I was really able to just be myself and be comfortable in my own creative environment. And I spent several days with a journalist and I really feel like we formed a connection. So there'll be a really great interview coming out as, as well. Um, so I guess I cannot say yet what publication it is, Mary has informed me that as early as tomorrow, I could inform you guys about where I will be being published in. So watch my Twitter. Um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna take one more question here from Zachary in Vermont, and he wrote me, Riley, I'm going on a weekend trip to New York City with a couple of friends. What's the must-see show of the moment? Okay, Zachary, so the other day I had about an hour of time in my extremely busy schedule, and um, I checked out Jesse Edwards' show, Dialogue of the Streets at the Clog House Gallery on Monroe Street in Chinatown. It's definitely worth the trip. 
don't be intimidated by Chinatown. Go and see the show. It's really great. And you will not be disappointed. All right, so I have to go because I have a really early flight in the morning, 3 a.m. I guess it's morning. But until next time, keep sending your questions. Hopefully I'll be able to do this again. I really enjoy connecting with my fans and all of you on the internet. So until next time, signing off.